Hello and welcome to Storytime for Kids. We're going to start reading today Little Kids' First Big Book of Reptiles and Amphibians from National Geographic. Okay? And the way we're going to do this is I will read each chapter as one video. So these will have Five videos total if you want to read the whole book okay I will post everything under one playlist with this exact name so you can find it on my channel and I hope you liked it. chapter one featured creatures more than 10,000 different species or kinds of reptiles live around the world. About 8,000 species of amphibians share the planet. In this chapter, discover what makes an animal a reptile or an amphibian. This is a Jacare Cayman. What are reptiles? Reptiles are a group of animals that include snakes, lizards, turtles, alligators, and crocodiles. Reptiles are vertebrates. This means they are animals that have a spine or backbone. You are a vertebrate too, but you're not a reptile. You are a mammal. A reptile skin usually feels cool and dry, and this is an emerald tree boa. Reptiles are also ectoderms. An ectoderm is an animal that cannot produce its own heat. Its body temperature changes with the temperature around it. Reptiles warm themselves in sunlight. They move into shade to cool off. Featured creatures. Eastern box turtle, plumped basilisk. Mammals, including humans, are endotherms. An endotherm's body can produce its own heat, no matter what the temperature is around it. Of course, you still need a coat, right? <laughs> Sometimes. This is a marine iguana. Most reptiles are covered with scales, shells, or bony plates. They usually have claws on their toes. It takes about three months for marine iguana eggs to hatch. Buried in the sand, the eggs stay warm. A few reptiles give birth to live young, but most lay eggs. Either way, newly born or hatched reptiles look like miniature versions of their parents. Baby reptiles can move around right away. They can find their own food and mostly take care of themselves without their parents' help. Green sea turtle hatching. Nile crocodile, baby and mother. As a group, reptiles live in a lot of different habitats. These include deserts, grasslands, forests, rootlands, meadows, and wetlands around the world. Reptiles do not live in places where it is too cold, like Antarctica. Most reptiles live on land, but there are some, like sea turtles, that spend most of their lives in water. This is Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle, Gold Dust Day Gecko, Eastern Garter Snake, Dwarf Crocodile. Scientists who study reptiles and amphibians are called herpetologists. What are amphibians? Amphibians are a group of animals that includes frogs, salamanders, and Sicilians. Like reptiles, amphibians are air-breathing vertebrates and ectotherms. This is a common frog. This is a fire salamander. Unlike reptiles, amphibians have smooth or warty skin, and they do not have claws. 
Most amphibians breathe air like humans do, but they also breathe through their skin. Their skin needs to stay moist, so they live near water. Most amphibians live at least part of their lives in the water. Others live in water all the time. This is a strip Sicilian. Most salamanders and Sicilians are quiet, but almost all frogs use loud calls to find mates and defend their territory. Have you ever heard a frog? They can get really, really loud, especially when it rains, right? No. Amphibians lay eggs. Many lay their eggs in water. These amphibians hatch as larvae, babies that do not yet look like their parents and develop underwater. For example, a frog starts as a tadpole, which usually lives in water. A few kinds of amphibians lay their eggs in moist areas on land. These amphibians have larvae that stay inside their eggs until they change into adults. Let's see the steps. First, the frog. This is a frog, right? And these are here the eggs. A mother frog lays her eggs in or near water. When the eggs hatch, out pop tadpoles. They live underwater. You see, they look a little bit like fish. You might even confuse them. Three, as a tadpole gets bigger, it grows legs. Its tail gets smaller and smaller. Step four, finally, the tadpole looks like a frog. Most frogs leave the water. When amphibian larvae grow large enough, they change into adults. This change is called metamorphosis. Amphibians usually live where there is water, such as a pond or a stream nearby. Some live in moist places, like the wet leaves that cover the ground in many rainforests. Like reptiles, amphibians do not live in Antarctica, where it is always frozen. A few amphibians live where it is dry, but they stay underground until it rains. This is a green salamander alpine salamander, African clawed frog, common water frog, bullfrog, Japanese fire-bellied nut. Come back for chapter two. I will see you soon, friends.